Yo, what's up? It's Fish, another episode of the Complete Guide to Mabel Story M. Hope you're having a great day. It's Friday. It's the weekend. If it's not Friday, it was Friday when I recorded this video. We're here sky high on the sky balcony, way up in Ludibrium. We're checking out uh, how to spend money in the game if you want to spend money in the game. I'm not privy to the conversation by letting you know that if you're spending money in Mabel Story M, it means because you want to, not because you have to. If you feel like you have to spend money in the game, you are playing wrong. But of course, there is an opportunity to spend a great deal of money. As much as you have in your entire bank account, the entire world, of course. If you go into a toy store, you can buy everything in the toy store. You can buy just what you came for. You can just browse around. You can be like, why am I in the toy store? I have enough toys at home. In fact, I have a toy in my pocket right now. I could play with that and spend zero dollars. This game is very free to play friendly, but it's also a game that you could choose to spend money on if you do enjoy it. We're going to look at the best ways to spend money if you do enjoy spend a little bit of money in the game. First things first, if you're a whale, your guy spent thousands of dollars, drop whatever you want, man. Have fun. Throw your money anywhere you want into the game. It is quite all right. You're going to be okay. If you make a mistake, you buy the wrong thing, just spend some more money and buy your way out of it. For many of us, though, who don't have unlimited supplies of money, you're going to want to know what to buy, what the best value is first. So I'm here to tell you what it is because I've done it before. You might disagree with me, but you're probably going to agree with me. Hope you like the videos. Thank you so much. Leave a like and comment and subscribe and let me know how you feel about the entire series. Any things you want to see, there's a whole bunch of videos coming very soon. I'm trying to get one out every day. You catch me live probably very soon, actually, if you're watching this video on the day that I have made it at twitch.tv slash fishsticks. We hang out all night. Pull gotcha chest sometimes. I'll probably pull some chest tonight. We got some videos coming up for that. Wish me some luck on my emblems. And uh, we're talking about how to spend money in the game. There are a whole wide variety of ways to spend money in the game. And I uh, don't want you to be confused by it. So we're first going to go to the main cash shop. And before we take a look at the items in the cash shop, we're going to take a look at the packages of things that you can buy before you buy items in the cash shops. The first place that you can see is the diamonds or the crystals in the upper right hand corner. We click on the plus, we get our first selection. Now, before you buy anything for the first time, your first offer is going to give you double on whatever pack you buy. So keep that in mind because it's the only time you're going to get that offer. Every other time, you're going to get bonuses like this. And we'll get other opportunities like coupons that we receive with other packages, which entice us on a time limited period to purchase crystals and get an even bigger amount of crystals when we do so. My general rule of thumb on crystals is don't buy them at retail price unless you have a coupon there, in which case you got it from another package. So this is the place where you go last and only with a coupon. If you find yourself buying crystals at retail prices, you're probably doing it all wrong. Before we get into the shop and the items available in the shop. We're going to take a look at the only other place you should look. It's right next to the cash shop at the top. It's that gift box. And it's a gift of you spending money. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff to buy here. And uh, the first thing you can see is the Royal Concert Muse set. It might not be available when you're watching this video in the future. But uh, this is an NX set. These are very great for people who want to spend money in the game and try and pull a unique set. We'll get a video about that, which has a unique bonus if you have the entire set. But if you're free to play, these items don't like them and you pull the gotcha whether it's the left or right one you can also choose to go to the trade station and sell these items including the set items you can see one of the pieces over here for mesos and that's pretty dope for free to play because all you got to do is grind mesos and then you can buy the nx shop items get the whole set you get a set bonus you're looking really beautiful everything's good but that's more of a whale purchase and a purchase that says i want to sell into the trade market into the economy and make some mesos because it's not very easy to acquire mesos but for a few packages we'll, we'll get to in a bit this next package would be my absolute favorite package if you're going to choose to spend money every month in the game it will be one of these two packages the one on the left is like 20 bucks the one on the right is like 35 40 dollars one is cheap one is a little more expensive and here's what you get the first pack you get 700 plus an additional 50 every single day for 30 days so it's 1500 plus the original seven which is 2200 2200 crystals for the price of like 20 bucks okay and if you go in the crystal shop you take a look at the price of the crystals you're going to find out very quickly that you're getting a heck of a lot of crystals like 70 dollars worth of crystals more than 70 dollars worth of, pretty much 70 dollars worth of crystals 
for the price of $20. On the right hand side, you get in the crystal pack, which is 1,050 crystals to start off with right off the bat, plus 130 crystals every single day for 30 days. You're getting 4,950 crystals over the course of 30 days for the price of 1,000, or sorry, for the price of 1,000, basically. 1,000 is going to cost us $40, it's the same price of that. So the entire month is funded. Why are these packs so good? Well, because when we get to the buff pets, and we'll cover pets in another topic, but buff pets are just a bit of a convenience, which you're going to have to continually fund with water because they last 30 days. Then you got to feed them water, and they wake back up. You can use them for another 30 days. Those packages and those buff pets are very convenient, but they're really only good when you're funding the game constantly. So this is kind of akin to a subscription. The one on the left is, is cheap. The one on the right is a little bit more expensive. But essentially, you're going to be able to fund your entire month. You could buy your pets. You could fund your pets. You could buy your gotcha a little bit. You could buy some outfits. You could buy a little bit of frilly stuff. But basically, one of these two packages will do you properly for the entire month. And that's you wanting to spend a fair amount of dollars. But the highest value for sure in the game for right off the bat crystals. The next package is one of my favorite packages it is available to you four times in the game the first time you're probably going to want to take advantage of it when you're a savvy spender trying to spend as little as possible get maximum value will be at level 100 you will be offered a boost package number one a boost package number two and a boost package number three which is this one after that you get offered another boost package after level 119 but uh it's going to take me a while to hit there and we're not going to see that for a little bit so this is the best closest one you're going to hit if you're a hard player within the first week or so you're going to hit level 100 and you're going to be able to have access to this this package if you decide that you don't want to buy it until 102 or 104 or 106 you will still get backtracked crystal rewards wherever on this tier that you buy it you can see that my next reward over here is going to happen at level 118 when i'm going to get another 800 crystals so it basically dribbles you crystals in the same way that the monthly package does but just in a different way six of one half a dozen of the other same kind of stuff this package incentivizes you to level up to 120 but at the same time don't forget it's basically the same price as the package on the right over here for monthly charges except the one at the monthly charges you get within the first month and hitting 120 within the first month that's going to be a bit of a challenge right so this would be the first package left to right this would definitely be the second package which is really really good the third package i wouldn't even touch it man it's mesos you can farm it you're not getting a ton of mesos you're getting like a million and uh, you know change every you know five levels or so and i could farm a million mesos every hour they might need to adjust that package i would just safely say don't touch it for now grand launch celebration if you're going to be buying stuff and you like outfits and you like pets and you like um pelicans <laughs> mounts you're gonna love this package it gives you a little crystal bonus if you want to buy some pa um, some crystals in the uh the crystal market afterwards but generally speaking for six bucks or five bucks in the u.s whatever the price is you get yourself a beautiful pelican mount and the seal package of pets that are buff pets that you will need to renew with water in 30 days for a total of six dollars it's really really good because typically the uh the packages of pets and they all they all pretty much have the same stats right uh the three sets with the bonuses they usually um they're like 900 crystals right so and that's just for the the pets you don't get a you don't get a mount or anything like that and if we look at what 900 crystals here it's basically 40 dollars. so for six dollars you're getting more than what you get for 40 dollars. it's really really good value the next package on the list the monthly package uh you're allowed to buy 10 of these per month I must have bought three already. Um, hey, it cost some some money to make some of these uh, these videos. I had to literally clean out the auction house for one of the one of the videos. But you get a, a little chunk of mesos and uh, twenty million in total. Plus, you get three thousand crystals and a thirty percent crystal bonus coupon. So, if you're a guy that's planning on initially spending money on crystals and wants to get more crystals when he does so, or where she does so, or when you does so, when you does so when you does so great english there you buy this pack for the same price that you get three thousand crystals you get your three thousand crystals plus you get your 20 million mesos plus you get 30 percent crystal bonus so before you get to the retail crystal shop which you never buy on retail unless you have a coupon you got to get the coupon first these packages are the whalers i need to get some for the month and pay some into the economy it's all right it's very expensive keep in mind i will let you know that i think the prices are a little bit cheaper on android than on ios so i do tend to buy my crystals when i'm on my android on the same account so there is that package 
pretty wily, but it gets you a little bit of stuff. Those mesos that you see at the top are, are, are I sold the, the shoulders that I got, so I'm uh, I'm pretty good to go. You probably never saw me pull the shoulders yet, but I got some shoulders and I sold them, so I got a little bit of mesos. So the next package is the unique rank up stone package, and I also like to call it don't buy this package unless you're an extreme whale. They let you buy five per month or four of the other one one is weapon stones one is armor rank up stones we've already discussed in our armor video and our fusion video and our upgrade video that we're pretty much going to be fusing our gear or we're going to be buying it in a combination we're not going to be doing rank up stone things and at the price of these stones you're going to have to take out a second mortgage of your house this is just not value for me the price is prohibitive enough to say we need this stuff to go to the whales and that's okay, man. These guys are going to fund your game. You're going to thank them for it. You're going to see all their emblem gear. And you're going to be like, man, I wish I was like you. But you're not going to buy these stone packages because you're a smart person. Now, aren't you? If you're a whale, don't listen to what I'm saying. Buy all the stone packages. Have a great time. But we're all headed to the same place in a ladder that doesn't end to the sky. It's an MMORPG. There's never an end. So be careful with how you spend your money because you can keep pulling the slot machine as many times as you want. There's one more package here, and it's basically your I want to get started very quickly, and I have no patience, but I want to get a really good deal. And it's pretty much this package. It'll give you some uh, weapon and armor and, you know, just basically a bunch of stuff, auto and buffs, and uh, it's all right, man. I mean, it's got a lot of good value to it. It's basically just your get off the ground running because I got a long way to go, baby, package. So, eh, it's not a bad package, but it's definitely not my favorite. Let's get into the shop and see what's over there. Those are our packages. You decide what to buy based on that information. Hopefully it's helped you out. Let's continue. In the main section, you can see all the, the features that they've added. We've got Aqua Boy and Aqua Girl. I bought the Aqua Boy costume. It's just some vanity. We also have the random mount box. It's 650 crystals, and we pulled a whole bunch of mounts, which we're going to check out in another episode. The good news about those mounts, of course, is if you're a whale, you can go to the trade station. If you don't open those mounts up, you can go and sell them in the shop. Some of them are very rare, and you're going to be able to get a pretty coin for it. I'm on Union American server, so these mounts are going for a bit more than they are on new servers like Scania because you guys are starving for mesos and for, for gear, but that's the whole idea behind the mounts because you can buy them just like the Concert Muse set and you can sell the items in the shop. We got the Teddy Bear Pet set. We'll do a video on that another day this week. And you've got all of what they deem to be the best of items. The first is the Royal Style. You can buy one of two gotcha packs. One is cheap and the other one's expensive and you get a random piece and hopefully you get the set. And when you get the stuff that you don't like, you put it in the auction house to sell. Keep in mind, if you're buying one of those pieces in the auction house, any one of those pieces from the NX, whether it's the, the mount or the gear, it's going to be bound once you get it. You can't resell it even if you don't equip it. It's a one-time sale. So it's for the person who purchased it to sell it back into the market. Got the Marine Boy and the Marine Girl and the Teddy package. And you've got all the Teddies individually over there. The random amount box we cover. And these are your sort of whaley, I'm going to be uh, buffing up and auto-battling type of packages. These are majorly for whales. They're very, very, very costly. You're going to be sending both loads of time to inefficiently farm. But for people who want to support the game, there you go. Next is the treasure box and we'll do a treasure box episode coming up later this week um, clearly based on the probabilities over here that you can click on and see yourself you can tell that it's very very difficult to get something of extreme value as far as legendaries go not even emblems just legendaries you got a 0.006 percent chance of pulling a legendary so good luck to you if you want to pull the treasure chest it's a lot of fun but it costs a lot of money and uh, if you were on the live stream the other night we had a bit of fun and we'll be pulling some gacha again tonight so wish me luck Hopefully we'll get it. Crystal retail packages. Again, we discussed it, but this time we bought a package. So we've got a, prob a bonus coupon up here in our inventory for 30% crystals. And it's gone in two days. So they really get you there. You buy a package, they give you a coupon. It gets you 30% extra crystals, but only if you buy it within two days or the coupon disappears. <laughs> That's pretty hot. Whatever, man. Catch your crystals fast or lose your coupons, right? No rain checks today, baby. So we've got... The game items over here. First are your convenience items. You can message people in the chat. You see the picture come up in the upper right hand corner with somebody saying something like poop. That would be me or balls. And uh, you can Yay! send a message to your entire server when you're doing that. So there's that. You got a buff freezer that'll save your uh, buffs. You got some uh, 
some respawn tokens and you've got some revival tokens that give you a little bit of invincibility as well i don't usually buy those ever but you usually get those in the rewards you got your various auto battle packages good luck to you if you're going to get far in the game on auto battle but if you're a whale don't listen to that just buy as much as you want you can buy some extra mini dungeon tickets some warps to places on the map and you can buy extra jewel pages which are very very convenient to add different slots and different specs so you don't have to keep taking out and putting in jewels that's a really nice perk you got the pet section. The first section is filled with pets that are not buff pets. These are permanent pets, and all they do is HP MP pot for you, and they pick up your loot. They're very cute, and they also have little bits of accessory that you can put on top of them to make them look even cuter and get a little bit of a stat bonus. Generally, the stats are pretty low and insignificant, but they do add a little bit, especially as you level them up. We'll take care of that more in the pet section. You got the pet food after that. Pet food is just what you use to level them up. You'll get them in the reward every day. I wouldn't really buy them from the shop. And there's the premium water of life. 200 crystals per pet. If you have a three pet set, that's 600 per month. So unless you're funding yourself on a monthly package, there's absolutely no point in taking a look at this. Forget about the buff pets. You're free to play. Push the four buttons every 30 minutes. You don't need the perk. It's really not that big of a deal. Next, we have some mounts. All of these mounts are bound just like the pets in the game. So you can't sell them in the shop, but the mounts, unlike the pets or other items, can be traded between your characters in the bank, even if it's equipped. Here are all the different things you could buy in the cash shop, and you'll see me wearing tons of these different items. There's hats and weapons and outfits and tops and bottoms, and you can go through the shop yourself, but this is all cosmetic. It's really cute, and it allows you to be man Barbie like me. Earrings and rings and aura rings and label rings for you to, you know, look different in the chat and type different in the chat, and uh, we'll get the, uh, the, the cloud quote ring right now. So you could see that when we uh, when we type in the chat, we're going to be able to have a cloud around our head. Well, let me see where that cloud ring is right now. Another ring slide, cloud ring. Give it a little balls, and there you have it. Look at me talking like a cloud. All right, perfect. There's that kind of stuff in the shop too. Moving on, where are we at? We were all the way down to style, right? There's gloves. Capes, we've been through the shop already. Decoration, face, eyes. You can put stuff on your face. You can get a mustache on with you want. I had one of those on yesterday. You can put other stuff on your face. Stick a popsicle in your mouth. Give yourself a battle scar, camo, paint, cherry, bubblegum, rose in your mouth, whatever you feel like. Then there's the hair face section where you can actually change the entirety of your, your look. The first section is a guaranteed cheap or you can use a coupon you can see i have a coupon for there and i could pick any one of those styles those are the basic hairs then there's the royal hair and the royal hair is gotcha it's come at an rng amount so you're going to have to cross your fingers that you get the right one that you want it took me about four pulls to get this hair and uh, the same can be said for the plastic surgery section where you're going to want to change your eyes or go into the royal plastic surgery and look for something that i got i really wanted the catatons face so it took me two or three or four pulls at the 150 crystals to get that it's a little bit of fun a little bit of rng and uh, it's probably going to cost you the price of a real life haircut when you do so that's pretty much wrapping up most of the cash shop over there we've got decorations that we already took a look at and um that's that's pretty much it guys like literally we've gone through every single thing in the shop item accessories make yourself look pretty but there's really no other packages that you can buy in the game occasionally we'll get events the bottom line is, ask before you spend. Those are the main packages. The TLDR is first package you buy is monthly on the left to right, depending on what you can afford. You can fund your entire month, especially if you're playing every day, log in and getting the rewards. The second package you're going to get is the Stage 3 Booster Pack, which is going to give you 5,000 crystals for the price of 1,000 once you hit 120, and it dribbles them out over time. And you can buy it at any point in this tier, and they'll give you all the back rewards if you're going super mega whale for the month and you want to buy a whole bunch of stuff this will be your next best package and every time you buy this package you get a coupon for 30 percent more so it encourages you to go into the crystal shop and then the only time you should buy a retail package when you have your coupon that takes care of the the pay to to pay to pay episode hope you guys enjoyed our trip through the cash shop thank you so much for checking it out i mean i uh I love doing episodes like these, but uh, it's only because people are looking to and spend money because you love the game. For real. It's a great game. I spent some money on the game. I really enjoy it. And I hope that you've learned some things that have allowed you to save some money in the game. Check me out on Twitch in a bit.
I'll be live soon. Twitch.tv slash fishsticks. Thank you for the subs and likes and comments. Drop me a comment. Let me know how you're enjoying the game. What kind of feedback you have. What kind of videos you'd like to see. What kind of stuff you'd like to see me buy in the cash shop. And I look forward to seeing you in the game. We'll catch you on stream too. I'll see you in a bit. Thanks for watching. Appreciate your time. Love your balls. Bye.